Hello and welcome. My name is Lexi Jong and here I like to talk about luxury beauty. Today we're going to be doing a will I buy it. So we're going to take a look at the newest and most upcoming luxury beauty releases that are coming out soon. And I would like to begin by giving thanks to the content creators that shared this information. So first up, we have Tavia from Chic Profile Official, and I will leave her Instagram account down below in the description box. So feel free to click on that and follow her if you are not already. She also has a Patreon account where you can become a member to get additional information, things that, you know, you get kind of censored for on Instagram. So if you are looking for the most up to date and the most information on those new releases, uh, you definitely want to check that out. So we have information from Tavia. Thank you so much for sharing this without information from content creators like Tavia and the other content creator of use, Angel Naked One, we wouldn't be able to do videos like this because we wouldn't know what's coming. <laughs> so uh, Angel Naked One is the other Instagram account that I am following to get this information. And he uh, shares a ton of information about new and upcoming releases. So definitely follow him if you aren't already also. And I have his Instagram account linked down below in the description box as well. A few of the photos and products are just released or coming soon, but are already on brand websites. And I got that information directly from brand emails. So we will um, credit those as those come up. So let's start off with some information from Tavia. And we're gonna start with the Chanel Le Beige collection, which is coming soon to the US. As you have probably seen, it's already available in Canada and Europe. So, you know, we're kind of the last to get this particular collection. There are three oversized bronzers and I believe two uh, highlighting powders with the same imprint as the bronzer. And I have to say the, the bronzers, they look a little worn. So I'm kind of on the fence. I'll probably pick one up to review and go over it, but I can't say that I'm like super excited for this launch because I feel like the colors um, just look a little bit warmer than I would like. I am interested in the highlights, so we'll definitely take a look at those. And yeah, so I'll, I'll be picking some stuff up from the Le Beige collection, but at this point, I haven't really figured out exactly what. If you have any suggestions, please let me know down below in the description box. Next up, we have the Guerlain eyeshadow palettes. I'm super excited for these. I talked about these in my last Will I Buy It video, but we didn't have pictures of all of the quads at that time. So uh, there are five quads that I am currently aware of, and these are supposed to be coming out in Japan July 15th. So I'm not sure when we'll get them in the US, but probably after that. <laughs> so we have five quads, Exotic Orchid, Mystic Peak, Peacock, Majestic Rose, Metal Butterfly, and Royal Jungle. And I have to say, I definitely want to pick up some of these. I probably won't pick up all five of them unless, you know, I see swatches and they all blow me away. But I'm not that interested in the pink ones. So uh, I definitely plan on picking up some of the other ones. Really, I, I just cannot wait. I loved their older quads that they used to have with a gorgeous like filigree packaging and so forth. I'm not talking about the ones in the holiday collections the last few years. Those have only been okay. I felt like the previous quads were a really nice formula though, and I, I really loved those. Uh, and then also coming up from Bobbi Brown, part of Bobbi Brown's summer collection is already out now. And there are three new highlighters, plus one shade came out as a re-promote. So there are four part of the collection. Three of them are brand new shades. We also have three new lip glosses. And I believe two of the shades were not new shades per se, but they're new shades to this formula, if I remember correctly. Um, Jennifer at Just Glow Firefly, she has all of them and she was telling me a little bit about those particular ones. She is a huge Bobbi Brown fan. So if you love Bobbi Brown, definitely check out her channel. But I am um, potentially interested in picking up one of the highlighters and the lip gloss in the, I think it's called, I forget, Cure Sugar. Uh, so I think they look really pretty. I'll probably pick them up at some point, but I'm waiting for the rest of that collection to come out. And I know there's more, but I'm not sure exactly what else is part of it. 
we do have another preview coming soon from Angel Naked One. Let's just go into that now. But the these are the Bobbi Brown New Cream Shadow Six. So they have reformulated their Cream Shadow Six. So there will be new ones of those. And there's also gonna be a new Luxe Mono Eyeshadow. I think there's only one based on the way this is written, but it could potentially be additional shades. So I'd really like to see those and I'll potentially pick up some of the Bobbi Brown. I'm not sure if all of these are part of the summer collection now or if they are a separate collection, but I, I do know that the highlighters and lip glosses are just part of summer. So either there are, these are the rest of it or there is more in addition to that. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, but yes, I am interested in certain items from there. Then also from Angel Naked One, we have the NARS Light Reflecting Prismatic Powder. And I have to say, I'm typically not like a huge NARS person. Like some things I'm interested in, some things I'm not. Uh, the Climax palette that came out last year, I absolutely loved. But this powder is really calling to me. I don't know why. I think it's this blend of colors. There are two shades. There's Moon Wave and Stardust. And I'm really interested in this powder. So it's supposed to be out in the US at the end of summer. And I will definitely pick pick up one, at least one of them. <laughs> so can't wait to uh, try that out. We also have a limited edition lipstick, one of the slim lipsticks from YSL. And not really sure when this is coming or what part of the co what collection this is part of. My guess is it might be holiday related. And I have to say, I'm not that interested. I have not found any of their slim lipstick formulas. None of them have been like favorites for me. So I just, I don't love them. <laughs> uh, so I'll probably skip on that. Then we also have some previews for things coming out in the fall, like the Dior New Year's collection. And this is two limited edition backstage eyeshadow palettes. So there's a red one and a green one. I do not <laughs> have any interest in the red one. Red shadows just don't look that great on me. Uh, but the green one, I'm definitely interested. I can't wait to see this. It reminds me of like Chanel Blurry Green, NARS Climax, um, you know, just a whole bunch of like kind of grungy greens. I love those. So I'm definitely interested in picking that up. But again, that's not going to be out until like the end of the year. We also have a, the, from Dior, a preview of the fall collection. Now there are no clear pictures out yet, but you can see that these are also gonna be kind of those like grungy, grayish, dusky colors. And I'm very interested. I wanna see more uh, from this, the two photos, they look fairly similar. So it's hard to tell exactly what they look like, but I'm definitely interested in this collection. So I will definitely be getting at least one of these qu quints and uh, probably both of them though. <laughs> so uh, yeah, definitely interested in the Dior releases coming up later this year. Another thing I'd like to get your opinion on, the uh, House Labs from uh, Lady Gaga, that is coming to Sephora. So it's kind of like going through a little bit of a rebrand, remarketing process. And I've heard, um, you know, fairly good things about the actual products. I'd like to know if you guys are interested in uh, seeing things from that brand on my channel. I have to say, honestly, I'm not that into the celebrity brands. So I think for me, I'm kind of leaning towards no, but if there's something that somebody says, oh, that's a really fantastic product, you should try it, then I would like to pick that up, if that makes sense. So. Yeah, only if you've heard of like a wow product. <laughs> so let me know if you've heard anything like amazing from that line. We also have the Charlotte Tilbury Cream Bronzer, which is coming out on Tuesday. I think that's pre-order date is Tuesday. I'm definitely interested in this. I am, I'm not the biggest Charlotte Tilbury fan. Like uh, there are hits and misses in the brand for me, but I think her bronzers are incredible. You know, I think those are one of the best things that she does. From what I've heard, I took that Charlotte Tilbury masterclass in New York and they talked a little bit about this and just mentioned that the cream bronzer shades will correspond to the powder bronzer shades. So whatever number you wear in the powder bronzer is gonna be the same number that you want in the cream bronzer. And I, I have switched. I bought the powder bronzer in one, but I recently picked up 
powder bronzer in two because it's a better color for me and I'm really enjoying it in two, I will definitely be picking up the cream bronzer in two. The one, I asked them like, who really wears that? Cause it's kind of yellow. That's really gonna be for the very, very fair people who have absolutely no redness in your skin. If you've got redness in your skin, they recommend going with two. Uh, regardless of how fair you are. So just a heads up, that's what I got from the Charlotte Tilbury Masterclass if you've been unsure what shade might be best for you and you have fair skin. Another item coming soon, I'm not sure when, it could potentially even be out already, uh, but this is the Lancome La 8, or I forget what the number is in French, like we oui, maybe? Anyway, it's <laughs> La 8 <laughs> Hypnose Volume Serum Mascara from Lancome. And I have to say, I think Lancome mascaras are really nice. I really like them. I think they, there's pretty much never a fail from a Lancome mascara. You know, like even ones that are just okay are still better than the average mascara for me. So uh, I am interested in trying this out. It's not something I'm gonna run out and purchase necessarily right away, but it's definitely something I will pick up and try out uh, at some point. So I'm definitely, I'm actually interested in trying more Lancome makeup. So I purchased some things. I will be using those soon on my channel. We also have, this is part of the Chanel Le Beige collection. Again, these photos are from Angel Naked One the Chanel nail polishes. So Chanel is finally going a little bit more colorful with their nail polishes. And there are a lot of really pretty shades here. They remind me of the Natasha Denona pastel palette, which I'm still really loving. I'm definitely gonna be picking up some of these nail polishes. I think the Chanel formula is pretty nice. You know, I, I like it and I, it has, it wears pretty well on me, you know. Um, I'm somebody who, when I wear nail polish, I have to change every couple of days because nail polish will inevitably, I'm very rough on my nails. It doesn't last very long for me. Even the long wearing ones, you know, I'm hoping to just get a few days without chipping, even with a top coat. And Chanel is going to be one of the longer wearing ones on me. So I really like their formula and I really like the colors in this. So I'll definitely be picking up some potentially all of these. Let me know which shades are your favorite. There's also a cuticle oil, which I don't know. I'm terrible about putting on cuticle oil, so I might get that, I might not. Um, but yeah, definitely interested in the nail range. And then I think that's it from Angel Naked One. A few other new items. Lisa Eldridge just recently released the Pink Moon Highlighter. I have to say I do like her highlighting serums. I think they are they're nice, um, but it's not something that I'm gonna run out and pick up right away. I know she will be releasing um, some new lipsticks relatively soon. I don't know exactly when, but that's something I might add on to an order in the future. But I'm just, I had such a, a not great experience with when she released the blushes and the highlighters that I'm kind of just like, um, maybe I'll get it, maybe I won't. So. Uh, I'll probably pick it up at some point, but I'm not in a rush for that. The photo here, though, is from the Lisa Eldridge uh, Instagram account. We also have LH Cosmetics. So this is the Linda Hallberg Cosmetics. And if you're not familiar, they do ship to the U.S., but she's in Sweden and everything's like vegan and cruelty-free and everything. So uh, I believe fragrance-free for everything as well. I'd have to double check on that. But she's releasing a new eyeshadow palette called the Daybreak Palette. It is on the website so you can see it, but it's not available for purchase yet. She also has a new Shaping Light, which is looks like a, like a cream highlighting fluid or something. Um, so I'm, actually, I'm very interested in the palette, to be honest. The, the colors, they're my kind of colors. I really like the like lavender shades and so forth in there and the grays. So definitely want to get that, and I'll probably pick up the Shaping Light at the same time time and there were a few other products that she's come out with over like the past year that I haven't picked up yet that I'll probably just add on to the order and then last up we have Rouge so the Rouge face palette this just came out this past week and to say I'm kind of interested in this I'd like to know if you guys are interested in seeing more about this line because um yeah, I, I figure if I order this face palette, I'd like to add some other items onto the order because I have to pay for shipping unless I spend $300. Uh, so I'll probably add a few other items and I'd like to know uh, what items in particular you'd be interested in seeing from this brand. 
I've heard really good things about the brand, particularly their lip palettes, which are supposed to be, from what I've heard, better than the West Minatelli lip palettes. Um, the one palette is supposed to be almost identical in shades to the uh, first West Minatelli lip palette, the, the one with the reds but I've heard that the formula is not as drying. So I'm curious about that, but I'd like to know if there's anything else that you guys are interested in seeing on my channel from this brand. So if you've tried it, let me know what you think. And if you haven't tried it, but you're interested in seeing things, let me know what you'd be interested in seeing. And that's everything for this edition of Will I Buy It? But let me know what you guys are interested in and what you want to see any like faves or fails recently. That would be great as well. Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope to see you very soon. So have a great day and stay safe and healthy.